Hey y'all, Florida boy here. Okay, so I was thinking about some uh, modifications that I was going to do to the outside of the coach and uh, discovered something in the interim that I'm not real happy about, but uh, you know what? It'll just be one of the things to add to my list that, that I need to do. But uh, before I really get into that, let me tell you a little bit about what, I'm, what I was planning and still will do. Uh, I'm going to add... This is down the road a little bit. I don't know how far, you know, if it's going to be weeks or months. I guess it all depends on how fast some of the other stuff goes. <clears throat> I Just like everything else, you have to prioritize things. But in a nutshell, let me tell you what I'm planning on doing. Like I said, I, I don't know when it's going to happen. It could be as early as a couple, two or three weeks. It, it may end up being, you know, two or three months before I get to this. But we'll see. So anyway, from this transition line down, okay, uh, which actually there's no seam here. Okay, I didn't think there was. I, I cut a little bit back there and uh, This is just decorative. Okay, just to, to break it up a little bit. Well, anyway I'm a big fan of diamond plate. I really like diamond plate and I think it'll look cool So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get diamond plate and cut it out take this off and run it from this transition line down not only am I going to run it down to the edge right here my finger is I'm going to bring it down about three inches and the reason that I'm going to do that and that's going to be all the way across the coach that's going to be all, I'll take these doors off these boxes outside doors off so I get a clean install there are two reasons one is again I, I like the look of diamond plate I really think it's going to be cool especially after the coach is waxed and it has nice luster on it but I just don't like the looks of the way that you can see the gen set hanging down um, underneath the coach like that. I, I don't like that. It's not, it doesn't look clean. Now I can't go down all the way because if I go past three inches and if I have to take the gen set out, which I may very well have to, I won't have clearance. Once it hits the ground, um, it's got about, <laughs> about three inches clearance between there so I can only bring that that diamond plate down just about three inches so um, you know I'll measure everything out but anyway so that's the plan so so in addition to that on the sides I'm gonna wrap the rear bumper in diamond plate too uh, this, this whole rear bumper right here and so I also wanted to do this panel from this molding down obviously it's gonna, I'm gonna remove this molding so here's where I found my problem so I'm underneath kind of looking at this thing trying to get an idea of how I'm gonna do everything obviously I have to remove the rear bumper but what I discovered is all this wood on the bottom here I won't bother crawling underneath it's too dark you won't ever see it but it's rotted out and it's rotted all the way here you can see how easy this fiberglass moves okay Right about here, it's nice and solid, okay? And you can see I pulled the rear tail light out. And I don't know if y'all can see that. See how, see that wood shifting and flexing? You can see right there where my finger's out. This wood is all rotten. Uh, I imagine it was coming in through this lamp because like I said, from this is all loose and rotted wood. And right about here, it's solid, solid as a rock all the way around. So I know, the leaks not high but all of this wood all the way across is gonna have to be replaced so that's gonna be a little bit of a project again I'm gonna pull the rear bumper off gonna pull the spare tire off gonna have to pull the ladder off pull both lamps out pull these moldings off the side <clears throat> and kinda peel this fiberglass back a little bit so I can get in there and and uh, I, I just it looks like there's a seam I don't know if there's not one it, it doesn't really matter I'm gonna cut up to where the uh, the rotted wood ends I'll cut out a new piece put it in there find a way to secure it and uh, that'll be it so yeah you know it just goes to show you there's this is a 14 year old coach it's a 2000 so I'm not surprised that it has a little bit of rot but I've been over the rest of the coach and, and it's solid everywhere else you know I mean I tap tested that and and that's a good test for, for anybody who's uh, checking to see if there's been water intrusion um, like I said man you can just you can see and hear the difference when you push this it's just all flex that wood's gone but right up here 
there's no flex it's nice and hard and it's pretty loose all the way across and this starts to get a little better over here so I don't know how long all this wood is good so I might not have to go all the way over I won't know until I get that everything off and peeled back so anyway that's the plan one thing to add to my list but uh, you know I'm not all that upset about it it's 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 a project I like projects I prefer not to be re replacing rotted wood but uh, you know what that's just the way it goes so but I think it's gonna look really cool once it's done with all this from this transition line down all diamond plate I'm gonna wrap the bumper in diamond plate and from this transmission transition line all the way down about three inches down all that whole bottom section with the exception of the doors I'm gonna leave the doors the white fiberglass but everything else will be the diamond plate and I actually think that's gonna look pretty cool and I'm looking forward to get started on that project that's got a few other things that I've got to do first and one is getting that gen set running I've got uh, got a fuel pump coming forward it'll be here Friday I don't think that's gonna fix it but I was back underneath it again today and uh, you know what looks like that gen set comes out pretty easy there's there's four bolts in each corner and uh, it pretty much drops out I have to remove the exhaust pipe first so when it comes down it doesn't get crushed and there's four leads well once the fuel that goes in one is the fuel line fuel feed which is already disconnected it's not a big deal to do the one is the power feed for the starter solenoid and there's one other wiring harness it's not a big deal so there's not a lot there it's it's not as uh, not as bad as I thought it was going to be but uh, it should be pretty easy anyway all right well that's my video for today and uh, we'll work on that it'll be interesting to see how how bad that wood is and when I start to uh, peel this uh, fiberglass back and, and see that rot but uh, hey you know what it, it is what it is and when it's all done it's gonna be right it's gonna look pretty cool all right that's it for Florida boy y'all have a good day peace